Ladies and gentlemen, the U.S. market is once again struggling. This is four days in a row of them struggling. You know, it starts out a little promising. And then by the time we get in the afternoon, it is like, <laughs> it's like a major fall from grace. So any gains that were made is now officially lost. You know, this is really, this is really bad. And this is all tied to one thing, y'all, the coronavirus. You think this looks bad now? Wait until it starts spreading in a huge way across the country. You're going to see this thing staying red. <laughs> you know, it is really, it's going to stay red. So the stories are out. Let's see here. Let's so pull this one up. Dow Industrial Falls as Virus Fears Show No Signs of Easing. This is real, y'all. This is real. When you see stuff like this and you see how much ties the U.S. have to China, there should be no doubt about that at all. U.S. deepen their losses Thursday as investors brace for the spreading coronavirus to slow business activity and depress corporate earnings. So, you know, these folks, this is what they do. This is what the whole country was built on. Them prospering and having wealth. And now when you see the market stay in the red so many days in a row, you're seeing a lot of their wealth going away. The Dow Jones Industrial average fell 2.4%, about 650 points, and the NASDAQ composite slid 2.5%. Now, remember, about Monday, it was 1.1%. So they slid 2.5%. If the indexes maintain those losses, they will close the session down 10% from their recent highs, a decline known as a correction. The S&P was down 2.2% on the cusp of joining the other indexes on course for a correction. If the S&P 500 were to close below the correction threshold, it would be the broad U.S. stock index fastest decline in correction territory from an all-time high in data going back to 1980, according to Dow Jones market data. Wow. Now, I just want you to picture in your head as more and more states start reporting the coronavirus and it is going to be bad on the stock market. Now, they're still saying this could actually push us into a recession. And at the rate that we're going, X amount of days in a row of this, yeah, it's going to go beyond this, y'all. You're going to look at a lot of weeks ahead with the market being in the red. Just get ready for it because it's here. Businesses are, are going to have to be shut down. Schools and all kinds of things, even retail stores are going to be disrupted from this virus. We're going to see all kinds of sectors that are going to be heavily impacted by this. And ladies and gentlemen, think about this spring and summer are big travel seasons for Americans. They do the most travel in the warm part of the year, which is your spring and summer. Usually by fall, everything will start waning down because, you know, kids got to go back to school and people, vacation time usually comes to an end by that time. So, Let's see how it will impact travel season. Will people still be traveling and acting like they blatantly don't see this? Or 
will they be forced to sit at home this season and pray they don't have the coronavirus? Because as this thing continues to spread, and it is spreading, there's new countries added to the list every single day of having the coronavirus. Where are you going to travel to? Especially if you want to go outside of the U.S., there's going to be, trust me, China is not going to be the only travel ban. There's going to be more added to the list. Especially because, you know, at first it was China, now Italy, because it's spreading so much in Italy, there's now travel advisories about going to Italy. So we shall see. This thing is going to take many twists and turns as we move forward over the next few months. So, ladies and gentlemen, all three indexes were in negative territory for the year after punishing losses this week. And man, they have seen some serious losses. I've been following this thing thoroughly since really like the end of last week, but I didn't do any videos on it until Monday. And that's when I saw everything in the red. I was like, oh no, this is definitely the coronavirus. They, it's at the point where they cannot, the financial markets cannot ignore this thing. They can't. Investors have grown increasingly worried about the potential economic impact of the virus as it emerged in new locations. Obviously, it's a bloodbath, said David Bonson, chief investment officer of the Bonson Group, a wealth management firm. When you get into a free fall mode, there's really little that can be done but wait for some sort of footing to be found. Some U.S. companies say they could lose as much as half of their annual revenue from China if the corona epidemic extends through the summer. American businesses will generate no earning growth in 2020 if the virus becomes widespread, Goldman Sachs Group equity analysis warned on Thursday. Ladies and gentlemen, can you imagine if their big season of Thanksgiving and Christmas come and these folks are too scared to go out? And it's almost like you're canceling Thanksgiving and canceling Christmas. <laughs> Ooh, we shall see because this thing is moving fast. It is moving fast. Record pace. We have to brace ourselves for wave after wave of earning downgrades, said Paul O'Connor. See, they know what's coming. Look at where their mindset is. They know they're going to be facing huge losses this year. They already know. They're telling you right here. Wow. The globalization of the virus extinguishes confidence in the V-shaped recovery that was the view last week. Microsoft warned Wednesday that supply chain disruptions from the coronavirus would hurt sales this quarter, making it the second major tech company uh, after Apple to lower expectations because of the epidemic. Yes, so, you know, Apple has been in the news quite a bit. They are already telling you we're not going to see, we're not even going to meet our six-month revenue that we usually do every single year. They're telling you, they already know. So these companies are coming forward and telling you they anticipate major losses this year. With Thursday losses, only one sector of the S&P 500, the utility group, was sitting in positive territory for the year. The stock index as a whole was down 5.7% for 2020. European indexes also dropped. With the stocks, Europe 600 tumbling 3.7%. In Asia, Japan's Nikkei 225 closed 2.1% lower. While South Korea, Kospi, 
um, declined 1%. Investors continue to seek the safety of government bond holdings. The yield on the benchmark 10-year U.S. Treasury, which closed at a record low of 1.310% on Wednesday, fell to 1.287% Thursday, according to uh, TradeWeb. Yields move inversely to bond prices. So they're showing you the uh, 1980 declines for S&P. And they're showing you, um, you know, the years and wow. Fastest 10% declines in the S&P 500 from an all-time high since 1980. Uh-uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. Y'all, I I tell you what, if I didn't see this happening right now, I wouldn't believe it. I wouldn't believe it. You know, it is really true when you see something like this. The time of the Gentile is definitely over. More than 82,000 people have been infected by the virus and the death toll stands at more than 2,800 globally. I believe it's way higher than that. On Wednesday, American authorities said a patient in California might be the first, and they already are confirmed as being the first to have the virus, and they didn't travel outside of the country. So who did they come in contact with in order for them to contract it? And this is Sacramento, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone is now trying to assess the economy impact, you know, what it will be. And nobody knows. How do you know? You don't. You can't even predict. This is, this thing is so unpredictable. You just don't know what's going to happen. The U.S. is looking at Europe and Japan as evidence of how the world is responding. Wow. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, this is something else here. Scary, but definitely something else. All we can do is stay prayed up, y'all, and take care of your immune system and try to do everything you can to keep yourself healthy. You know, um, I, I was over on Amazon and I could see they're already price gouging the face mask. Don't even sweat that, y'all. You can find some under $10 if you get the washable kind. It ultimately, I think that's the best one to get for the simple fact that those disposable ones, you're going to run out of those on the market because they're going to sell out and it's going to get to the point where it will not be available for people to buy. And the best thing for you to do is get the washable ones and just keep reusing that. But Please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.